Hi everybody. Today we are working on Tumbum Armory 20. I want to show you the constraints today. So I create some layers here. They will be the tail. So we can transform them like manually but you don't have to transform every frame so here we are I'm adding quickly so on the node library you can type the constraints or you can find from just constraint bar here so I add two points constraint for now and it helps you can add two packs in one time so it is really useful stuff also you can make stretch and squash easily so for example here let's add constraint between the peg and drawing and I'm just adding two pegs one is gonna be up one is going to be down four I, I want to use all of them also, all the pegs, so I'm just connecting the both of these pegs to one peg. So here, I'm just connecting the pipe points. taking them as up and down so when I click this peg it's gonna be down and this is going to up right let's do this for other one two you can just copy and paste past, past special so I'm creating new clumps for this I'm adding tags so this is going to be up This one is going to be done. So let's find the exact points. Okay, now I can help out to animate like squash and stretch. So I have to show you some different things. Today. So I thought what if I have to move this one and I have to take this one with this but not manually automatically I want to transform or animate them quickly. So when I animate this object tail up, I want to take this two with this guy. So here is we have dynamic spring. 
I'm adding dynamic spin to here pad so it's be, I'm being sure it's connected to the dynamic transform not static and the dynamic is working on this point right now as an example if I move here it's gonna be stopped by overlap no more key frame it's just moving just like easily and also I want to when I move it as I told it should come with tail up but I want to use dynamic spring too so I want to try to take this two point constraint to the tail down because I want to it should affect them properly so add dynamic spring as special past as special again I'm adding the down stuff down point five point and right now when I move that it's gonna come and let's see an example yeah, it works perfectly. So I can add a little power of this tail. Yeah, I hope you like it. And also, you can change the settings of dynamic springs with this small yellow box. For example, this is the up, tail up dynamic spring going in, and I can change this with a5. Let's go other dynamic, let's make it. Maybe more is better. And maybe this changes too. It's gonna be 80, 85. And it's going to be 4 5. Okay, right now we can see the differences. Maybe it's be 65 and it's going to be 100 again okay this tail up is going swing fast faster and tail down is overlapping for a long time so hope you enjoy guys see you next video bye